Talk Sporty 101 is all about getting you to find your perfect level of fandom and engage with sports however you want to. It doesn't matter how you came to love sports or like sports or how much time you've spent watching sports, a fan is a fan and there are no requirements, not even for bandwagon fans. Now, I know that this could be a little bit of a hot button topic for long time and long suffering fans who just see their team in a different light. They have dealt with disappointment and unmet expectations, while bandwagon fans are new to the party and they are only experiencing the best part, the most joyous part, all of the wins and all of the fun. Look, Bandwagon fans are still fans. In fact, I would encourage you to just drop the bandwagon from that terminology. You can't blame people for wanting to be part of an engaged fan base and cheering for a team that's doing well. You can, however, help those fans broaden their understanding of the team, their perspective, and their sports fandom altogether. You can do that by engaging in conversations. Doesn't have to be long, 30 seconds will do. In that conversation, you might find an opening to share about your fandom and how long you've been a fan, what you appreciate about the team, and why their current winning streak or winning stretch is important to you. And lastly, if you have a fan that you engage with on a regular basis, why don't you level up those questions every time you go to have a conversation? The idea is not to put anybody on the spot, right? We are trying to create connections through sports small talk, and we're trying to create some follow-up opportunities. So you might start off with something like, what did you think of the game last night? And then step it up to, what did you like about the pitching performance? And you could level it up again by asking the level of frustration after having a couple of bases loaded opportunities that they just couldn't cash in on. You see how changing the way that you approach the conversation can actually bring somebody along in their own fandom. Remember, there's no rules for how you want to be a fan. So encourage everyone to be part of the fun. If you have missed the videos in this series, any of the blog posts, you can find them on the website talksportytome.com or on the YouTube channel.